things you've been taught, you've been told Don't blink, don't run Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles I'm It's been a while But from now on, we'll be back consistently New videos coming every week Keep over Welcome back to the channel There was a break in between From now on We'll be back with new videos consistently every single week. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a brand new leg workout, which is going to be one without choosing any machines whatsoever. So just with dumbbells and barbells, know how you can grow your legs and get stronger than ever before. I like to always begin my workouts with phone rolling. And there are numerous studies which are for and against phone rolling. But through with the lactic acid which builds up over a period of long period of inactivity, I find that it helps loosen up the muscles and get ready before an intense workout. We'll begin our workout with squats, but before we do, it's very important to activate the biggest muscles in your body, that is, the gluteus medius. My exercise for choice of today, the banded side walk. Before beginning with squats, a lot of people like performing the leg extension, as it helps the knee joint gets warmed up and gets some blood flowing through the quadriceps. But in the absence of a leg extension machine, what do you do? Once you know the mechanical function of the knee joint, which is to extend the knees, we can perform the same movement with a band. Here I'll show you banded knee extension which you can perform right before you do your squats to help you feel a lot of stability and warmth throughout your knees. I'm standing in a split stance and I place the band around my knees. In this position, I'll slowly extend my knees backward. At the end of the range, I'll feel a complete lockout in my quadriceps and blood flowing around the joint which will help my quads and knees get rightly warmed up before I work on my heavy squats. That was the last warm-up set of the day with 110. Weight feels pretty good today so I'm going to be trying a top set of 3 to 4 reps to around 125 kgs. To dream, believe in strength now I'm the only one. Only one. I was an ordinary boy until I That was the top set of today. Move pretty alright, 120 by far top set of 4. I'm going to do some back off sets with 85 kgs. We'll do two, ah, start a right now. We'll do 3 sets of 8 with 85. After wrapping up squats, in the presence of machines, I would probably do something like a leg press. But since we don't have that today, we are using only barbells and dumbbells. I'm going to be performing a Bulgarian split squat. But I'm going to be doing a variation where I do it with a forward lean, emphasizing more on my posterior chain, that is my glutes and my hamstrings. After getting into position, I place my body almost at a 45 degree angle, leaning over so that my weight is a lot on my glutes. And then I'll descend down into my split squat, keeping my weight on my front leg, driving through the heels. 
I'm going to be doing one warm up set without waist just to get some blood flowing. And then I'm going to be doing three walking sets, three heavy walking sets with eight to ten reps each leg. So if you focus on my torso over here, I'm staying at the forward lean instead of being upright completely, which will make it more of a water dominant movement. Depending on the rest of the exercises you're doing on that particular day, you can either choose to make it anterior chain or posterior chain down. For the next movement, I'm going to keep a quad focus movement. You might be familiar with step ups that you usually see being performed. But for a change, they are performing step downs. How this is different is, it will work a lot on your stability and help you build that explosive strength that you need using your body weight alone. To demonstrate over here, I'll use a counter weight in front of my body to see how it's being performed. I won't do much, I'll probably do 2 sets of 8 to 10 reps, but if done in a correct manner, this will definitely set your quads and glutes up on fire. Starting out on the top of the box, with the plate in front of me and slowly easing down into my descent pressing through my heel on the top of the box I'm controlling my descent slowly focusing the weight on my quads, my glutes and making sure that my knees don't cave in Another cue that I like to follow doing this movement is imagine you're landing on a bed of eggs so you need to keep your landing extremely soft and controlled otherwise the eggs will break. When done in a slow and controlled manner, it will help build immense stability around your quads, your glutes and overall coordination. Similarly on this movement as well, depending on your torso angle and how far away you are placing your feet away from your body, you can either target your quads being upright or your glutes. Leaning on, assuming a more lean forward torso position. Since I did my last movement for dominant on my posterior chin, I'm staying upright and keeping my landing foot close to the box so as to make the movement more watched over. Next, I'm going to be performing a variation on the Jefferson squats. You might have seen the Jefferson squat like done popularly, done famously by Kai Green, but I like to do it a little differently, assuming a straighter lunge position, targeting more on my glutes and setting the quads in absolute fire. The might have seen the movement performed usually like this, placing the bar in between your legs, but I like to get into a lunge position, grabbing the bar from the center, be upright, then going a regular lunge only, if it's be the bar stays in the menu. Three sets of this, not too heavy. I'm going to keep it to just 40 kgs, but we might have seen Jefferson squats being performed with immense amounts of load. You can try overloading it after you have mastered the movement. But since after squats and the other accessory movements, I was a little fatigued. I'll keep it light for today. Three sets of around 10 to 12 reps. Another leg base table is the leg curl. Any variation of the leg curl, be it a seated leg curl or lying leg curl, but in the absence of a leg curl machine, how do you go about performing the same movement? Well, once you know the mechanics which get into the movement, for your quads being knee extension and for your hamstrings being knee flexion, you can perform it very easily, but something that is easily available at every single gym and I just see people sitting on top of it, but not utilizing it to the fullest potential, the mighty Swiss balls. For my second last movement, I'm going to be doing Swiss ball leg curls, three sets of 10 to 12 reps, excellent exercise for your hamstrings and building your overall both strength and stability. I'm going to lie down on my back and get into a bridge position. Lift my hips off the ground 
and put the ball towards me while keeping my hips up in the air, achieving bum kick, knee flexion, and excellent contractions on the hamstring, little on your gastro for your back, and excellent swimming for your bow. Three sets of 12 reps. Make sure to stretch your hamstrings in between sets to allow more blood to enter the muscle. One movement that I love to perform to train the calves is the seated calf raise. It targets the soleus so well and you get an amazing pump which you can't feel during your non-regular standing calf raises. But in the absence of a seated calf raise machine, how do you train the soleus? Well, I've got you covered for this one. We are going to be performing KOT knee over toe calf raises. Because of the special position it assumes, it naturally targets the soleus more and makes up for a great substitute of the seated calf raise machine. I'm going to come on one leg, bend my knee and get my knee almost over the toe. In this position, I'm going to be doing task chests. Three sets of this, 20 to 25 reps, and the calf training will be more than sufficed. Be it an athlete, a bodybuilder, or a powerlifter, I'm a big advocate always of incorporating explosive training into one's routine. It will have multiple benefits to your athletic prowess and help you with your sports and getting stronger, getting bigger as well. For the last movement of the day, I'm going to be performing box jumps and supersetting that with hanging knee ups. This is going to be my finisher. Three sets of 10 reps on the box jumps and 50 reps on the hanging knee up. And this will conclude the workout. that, we come to the end of the workout. We're going to finish up with some light stretching and then call it a day. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you learned something out of this video and realize that even without machines, just with dumbbells and barbells alone, it's very much possible to have a complete leg training routine. So if you do like the video, leave a like, comment down your thoughts below, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. New content every single week. And this time, it's gonna be bigger than ever.